It's been a while. You've been waiting for way too long for this, but here it is, the one to one scale that we have now completed. I might do some minor adjustments for submitted <coughs> submitting it to Hall of Fate, but it's done for now. <coughs> so for you so the light the the eyes will light up and it has working gun format. Doesn't look the prettiest. Let me just turn, turn, turn the graphics to max and enable shadow for everything. Yeah, it looks way better now. Now, this is the, my first, first time doing water moves and the ambient lighting. So, please don't be mean. Oh yeah, the, for the beam it be traps, and it has a little spending mechanism for massive damage. It's kind of laggy right now, but the legs are supposed to do a little, do a little foldy fold. And the beam will, will level out, to level out. So... In case you didn't notice, you can, this thing is really heavy. I have a so I made a counter mechanism, counter mechanism for it to float. It uses paste and join it, instead of magnet engines, instead of wheels, because it's so goddamn heavy you can't even. It needs that much to lift itself up. <clears throat> Also, I didn't use anti-gravity core on this because it just breaks whenever I try to install one. So, this is kinda slow due to the very nature of this thing. After the year turns one of my gun things. See why I why I made a mechanic for for it later. I didn't really do a lot of background and it's decent I guess. So that's pretty much it for a bit long mode. Not very interesting. Shield mode. So for bit long mode, for the shield mode, let me just close the cockpit real quick. It has all the features that the, the bit long mode has except for one. Other than the secret mechanic that will disclose in this video. Let me just articulate it a little bit. It usually, usually it has a shield. Nothing too too special or fancy around here. It has a, it has the lighting a bit of gun format and everything everything along the lines of that. But it's a special mechanic. So I thought it should click on this invisible switch and it should activate the bit scrap over. It's a little bit laggy right now, but let's give it a second. It'll work. This is the most PvP PvP of a mech in, in history, but it still has a, a plethora of options to defend itself. Yeah, that's this is basically the same mechanic as Quanter. Not too special, but. Here's the thing, it's still stable when it flies. God bless the heavyweight of this thing. Now, now let's just cut on to the articulation section. Articulation! So, if you might have already known, but the main thing is Deleted and it could go 360 degrees without any blocks. And this is how, and how far the, the arms can go. There's a piston joint for, for, for the articulation, but I'm not gonna show it here, otherwise, it's gonna be bothersome. 
this doesn't demonstrate quite well, but the arms can, but the hands can go all the way up front. And that's pretty, that's pretty much it for the pilot seal articulation. Now, if you if you pay if you pay attention attention during the video, you can notice a little bit the control board down here. Let me see if I have to the gun. So there's a leg lowering mechanism for further leg articulation. And you can release the front skirt. Now let me just wait never mind. Anyways, the head can go all the way down like this. Go back and all the way up facing upwards. And the waist can go all the way back and all the way front. Now, it also has sideways articulation like this. That and the arm can go f a full 90 degree, degree, a little bit forward, a little bit of side front to back articulation, and a 90 degree rotation rot rotation system. Same for the left arm, and the waist itself can rotate facing different angles. But it doesn't go 90 degrees. And the left, the legs can go all the way forward. No problem. Just move. You just need to lower, lower the flap a little bit. articulation also 90 degrees and finally tilt for the lips for your crouching slash dynamic poses for the arms for more arm articulation there's a there's a joint for, for the other arm to go 90 degrees and and a little bit of side rotation I think but it doesn't work that well kind of broke and it's kind of use the feature anyway because that's pretty much all for the articulation. Now for the deed. Overview. Now the fun. Now I see the details a little bit. So for the shoulders and the and the joint the joint for that. There's a little bit of panel lining. It's a bit lazy, but looks good to the distance. Let's go. It has fully, fully color separated parts oh, for allowing for motion shading. The panel lighting is pretty simple. It's pretty simple, but it works. There's a little decaling here and there. Let me just, okay, just do a 360 view of it. And for the legs. The 
gun has actually no T channel or honestly nobody cares about the gun. And the meds have a little fancy no little fancy detail. Minimum minimum hand lining. A little bit of corner feeling here and there, especially on the lower legs. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hope this gets in the Hall of Fame. And see you soon. More showcases in, in the future. Like and subscribe, or you're gay.